Let's learn how to create your custom VR chat model in four minutes. Step number one is to download Vroid Studio. Vroid Studio is a free, easy to use 3D modeling program that is super beginner friendly. Vroid Studio is one of my favorites because of the amount you can customize without needing a ridiculous amount of 3D modeling knowledge to make a model. When starting to build your model, you have three choices. You can jump right into Vroid Studio and wing it, or you can try to find a specific aesthetic for your character and come up with a rough design idea Idea based on images you collect. I'm an artist, so building things like mood boards really helps give me an idea of the kind of character that I want to create. I like to use sites like Pinterest or ArtStation for this. And please make sure that your character design is your own and that you're not stealing somebody else's design. If you're an artist and you want to start even further back, you could even start with a full character concept art sheet to support designing your character. This is the longest part of creating a customized avatar. This could take you as short as a few minutes to as long as a few weeks or a month, depending on the level of customization that you wanna do for your model. Putting in that time to make your model look gorgeous or handsome is well worth the payoff. Just a heads up, the way that we're setting up the model, it is not compatible for Quest or for standalone headsets that aren't connected to a PC. Once you've worked your way through your character design and you're satisfied, we'll download Creator Companion. By the way, if you're looking for a new VR headset, my main setup right now is the Focus Vision and the Ultimate Trackers, and of course the Facial Tracker for Focus Series, which allows me to get the full experience in VR chat, and you can check the description for more info on that. Step two is to download VRChat's Creator Companion and create a project. Creator Companion is VRChat's easy to use system for creating both worlds and avatars for VRChat. Download this off the VRChat website once you're logged in and go ahead and launch it. Next, you'll click create a project and select Unity 2022 avatar project. Make sure to name it and select create project. Next, you'll need to ensure that you have the right version of Unity downloaded. Unity is a game engine that VRChat was built on and Creator Companion is a way to be able to connect the two. I'm using Unity 2022.322F1 for this. In the top right hand corner of the Creator Companion, it should let you know which version of Unity you need. And I'll leave a link to the download in case Creator Companion is not prompting you for whatever reason. Step three is to add the VRM converter for VR chat package to your project. Next, you'll want to click the settings in your Creator Companion, go to the packages, scroll to the bottom, and add this repository link. Add this to your project as the model we made in Vroid Studio is called a .vrm file. It will need to be converted to work properly for VR chat. Once you have this added, you can open your project. Step four is to add your VRM to the project and convert it to a VR chat model. Once Unity is open, make sure to log into your VR chat account by opening up the VR chat SDK and clicking control panel and then log in. After that, you can drag and drop the VRM file or the model you created into the assets folder, drop it in this big gray area here, and Unity will set up everything and do this conversion for you. Then you'll click on your model in the project and go up to the tab that says VRM0 and select duplicate and convert for VR chat. Make sure you save your project and click OK. The last important note is that you may need to edit the viewpoint for your avatar for VR mode. Get out of the mode that we're currently in by clicking this little arrow here. And you'll do this by clicking on your avatar in the assets section and then going over to the view position, click edit, go back over to hierarchy, select your avatar, and then use the arrows to move it to about the middle center of the forehead. And go ahead and click return when you're done. Step five is to upload your avatar to VR chat. Finally, you'll navigate to the builder tab and fill out all this information. You can also choose a thumbnail. If you have character art, this is a fun place to put that. Once you're done with that, scroll all the way down, click the check in this box and build and publish. After the build is successful, you can hop over to VR chat. Step six is to switch to your avatar in VR chat. Finally, you can log into VR chat with your VR headset, then you'll go to avatars and select uploaded to find the one you just made. You can switch to an avatar and then ta-da! Everything should be working great. If you like this video, hit that like button so that the YouTube algorithm doesn't bury me. And consider clicking subscribe for more VR chat tutorials, product updates, and more. Now, if you love uploading avatars to VR chat, the next step for you would be learning how to upload a world to VR chat. Check out this video next to begin learning the steps for that.